welcome again to another episode of fish keeping jamaica welcome to my channel okay so today's video is about that bubble that job that space that tangle that wave that that, that little twinkle within your aquarium i'm talking about the filtration mechanism in which you use this is a, a sponge filter right and over on this side you have a hang on the back filter now we're talking about the oxygenation of your aquarium uh your pond all right uh now let's say that the aquarium was for the hang on the back filter let's say that it had a drop of about three or four inches that means the this is a hang on the back this is a hang on the back and let's say um below the drop they have about a space of about two or three inches right did you know that you have more oxygen actually going in the water at this point than let's say it's here where it is at right now right this is about a, a half inch drop right uh as far as the the bubble is concerned right uh the the, the, the more the oxygen the more they they, they are uh, the air pump is to the the base of the aquarium is the more oxygen the, the the aquarium actually get right because what happens is that in traveling upwards towards the top of the aquarium you have uh, a longer span of uh air bubbles going up before the bubbles actually you know extinguish themselves at the top right so you have more oxygen within the system however not all air pumps can actually function at a certain depth so that's the reason why you have some air pump they will tell you the the, the maximum head or the maximum depth in which um, it can actually uh, manage right uh, we're talking about the whole idea of oxygenating your aquarium today uh, this aquarium is uh, a work in progress so do not look at the messy glass i'm just talking about the the, um, the, the oxygenation of the aquarium all right let's switch to the ponds in which i have around the back that has the um the the, the filter ponds all right filter buckets that i um head space between the the water exiting the, the the filter bucket and the pond itself uh i am very careful not to overdo it uh should i say place a, a pump in it that will get this area all bubble up with with a water coming from here and then uh, what will happen is that my, my fish will be over oxygenated and in some cases my fish might end up dying right um my pan is set up in such a way water is changed on a regular basis the bucket is uh clean on a regular basis and you have a filter bucket which actually um allows water to be um what I call it now um mechanically as well as uh chemically as well as biologically being filtered okay now uh as far as the drop is concerned this oxygen the oxygen that the fish is getting through through this mechanism right is quite sufficient for the amount of fish that i have and i have been doing this for a very long time and um it has worked and I have seen no uh, negative implication. The height in which you place your filter bucket from your pond itself can result in the amount of oxygen that your fish actually get. Right? Uh, let's look at let's look at uh, let's look at another system. This is my Jack Dempsey pond. This is the filter mechanism, right? Um, so you have the height. The the bigger the pond is, the the bigger the splash I want right so as a result of that my my it, it is not that, that close as let's say my aquarium my aquariums in which you have actually seen with the um the hang on the back filter where it's about half inch right uh so the the the, the, the pond is being filtered and it has a large splash which gives a good distribution of oxygen throughout the pond itself And here is here is another system here's another system uh, this is my convict cichlid pond uh, the water is being filtered 
um, it don't have that big splash but at the same time the water is being aerated so my fish is okay along with the plants in which it have wow a dead snail today was whether or not the distance in which the water actually um falls from the filtration mechanism to the aquarium water or the pond water itself if that makes a difference and the answer simply put is yes you must be mindful however that you do not over oxygen into your system your fish will die will get sick and die so the correct filtration mechanism should be employed to each system that you have thank you very much for stopping by have an awesome day rally here bye bye you know, so friend, this a family. Some boy can't step to me. Cause they're about to see me see that in a demand.